Hi, my name's Kim Porter. This screencast is designed to give you a bit of an understanding of your classroom space. Once again, welcome to Skills for Working in Industry. As you can see, you have got the same opening page as you. Just some important things to note. First of all, your class announcements. This is where I will be placing announcements each week that will give you some more indication of what's required for the week. It is important that you check them every week and that if you have any problems with any of your assessment tasks that you do go and have a look in there. I will also post any information that is important in regards to your assessment. Also, that head office also plays things so it is important to keep up to date with that and ensure that you have subscribed to that announcements. Some other important features of this classroom space is over the side where you will see a welcome video. This is a video, a short one minute video that just explains and welcomes you to the, to the course. This discussion forum is used for any assessment discussions or getting to know you activities or anything else where you want to ask lots of questions. It's a really good space to ask questions about assessment tasks as I can add them to a, to a group of people and actually back to your fellow colleagues might also um, um, be able to answer your questions. Down the bottom you'll see um, templates for assessments. I'd encourage you to continue to look, look at this over the course um, of the term because things will be added and deleted. So please ensure that you keep up to date with that space. Another important thing is also our student central. So if you click on any of these, let's go to subject information, it will pop up with some, with some important dates. It's also really important to ensure that each assessment has a cover sheet and this is where you can find your cover sheet. If you go further down, each week you will notice that there is an overview, a learning outcome and topic requirements and a link to our assessment. This format has only been formatted at this stage for the first two weeks. However, over time, each week will be the same. Each week will look a little bit different, but you'll notice that each week there is a PowerPoint. So we do encourage you to have a look at this PowerPoint and it will take you through some of the important key features of this week. It's also important to ensure that you read the, your readings that are there and all your learning tasks are found within this. So all any learning tasks for that week will be in this forum over here. And then there's also a blog. And this um, is a blog. This blog is only set for um, you at this stage. So you will only be able to see and I will also only be able to see. It's important to have a quick look over there about having a little bit of a think and a reflection on whether you've actually met the targets for the week. Something else that's really important is you'll notice there are some dot, um, some boxes here for dots. This is so you can track your progress over the time. So when you have completed a further reading, please ensure that you pop a tick over there. Um, another thing that's really important for you to have a look at is the glossary terms. So it's really important if you find a new term that you can also place um, a glossary term in there as well um, and over the time it will if you refresh your page which I'll do right now you will notice a new glossary term is um, or meant to a new glossary term is meant to come up. I will continue to try and add some more glossary terms there for to support you. Um, if you have any questions it's really important that you um, give me a bell in regards to your subject um, and assessment guide. Um, if you're also looking for your resources in regards to your assessment tasks, um, in particular the one um, that you'll be looking for, assessment one, is actually found under week six. This will be moved to your assessment templates over the time. Um, if you have any questions, please send me an email. Please use the discussion post and I'll continue to 